So you bought your tickets to the Tulsa Opera's production of Don Giovanni. You're sitting down in your seat. You're amazed by the show. And on the way home, you're talking about how it actually happened, you know, what, what makes the magic. I'm Brian Johnson, and um, I'm the props master, props artisan, props designer for Tulsa Opera. I'm going to walk you through some behind the scenes props magic for Don Giovanni. So this is actually going to be a wedding cake. This is a duplicate for rehearsals. A lot of people don't realize that we make sometimes two props for rehearsal. This one has a removable slice of cake. We have a bride and groom, which will go on the finished cake. So we have to have a rehearsal bride and groom right here. And this is actually designed because the director has requested that this be removable and be able to snap the groom off and then dunk the groom into the top of the cake. Um, this may end up actually even being a real cake. So this is ready for paint and the next steps in that process. Sadly, the least magical part is lots of paperwork. So this actually, my, my process for the show, which opens May 3rd, runs May 3rd and May 5th, um, actually started back around Thanksgiving. This is a small suitcase, like a train case, that we're converting into a disguise kit. So this I've converted, and it'll end up having a bunch of fake beards and mustaches, and it's all very film noir style. This is an actual vintage case, kind of a butterscotch color that we converted brown, and then we're gonna age this to make it look like it's been worn. So to take something old, make it look new, just to make it look old again, that's, that's props for you. Speaking of old, looking new, this is our camera for the show. It started with, we just wanted a camera for the show. That was the note that I received. So we started with, with this here, and then the note was that it needed to flash, and then the note was that it needed to remove the film. This is a lot for the performer to do and, and sing. So this wasn't going to work. And then we went to this style of camera uh, and realized that there wasn't enough room inside. So we went with this style here, which of course we have two for, one for rehearsal and one for the show. And we actually modified this with a push button and actually put in a, an LED. This is a reverse light for a car. Nice and bright, super easy to use, and really, really kind of cool. I'm really happy with that. This is gonna become a votive stand. This is actually a, a Craigslist table with a drawer that's all been converted to look like a stand. The tiers have been built. It'll end up getting these little votive holders, and then these really cool little LED flicker candles, remote control. How cool is that? So there'll be 24 of these and then several live wax candles. I'll actually end up pre-burning these down so that they're burning at the same intensity as an LED because they're, they're two very different brightness levels when burning. So I'll make sure those are pre-matched so that the audience won't be able to tell the difference. That's you guys. This uh, cross here again, this is a, this is a store-bought decorative cross, uh, which I kind of refinished a bit. Again, to add that little touch of red, that'll be mounted here. Um, then this whole thing will end up getting painted this faux finish here, and that kind of helps sell the illusion. So we hope you'll come see Don Giovanni May 3rd and May 5th, Tulsa Performing Arts Center. It's gonna be, it's gonna be magical.